Hi, I'm David Taub, and welcome to another clip of the week. And today, I'm going to show you another way to spice up your minor pentatonic and blues scales, um, just by adding another note to the scale. I get a lot of questions about how can I take minor pentatonic and do more with it. Um, remember, your minor pentatonic scale is just five notes from the natural minor scale. If you add the blue note, you add the flat five, and it becomes a six note scale. Um, I'll show you in A, in the key of A, A minor. So the notes are A, C, D, E flat, there's the blue note, E, and G. Okay, one of the things that I do, again to spice it up a little bit when you're talking about minor pentatonic, is I'll add another note. And the note that I'll add is the second or the ninth degree of of the scale. We're in the key of A, so your second would be a B. So I add that B note, and it always, uh, most of the time it works great, because that note is also in the uh, natural minor or Aeolian mode, or natural minor scale, the second, or it's also in uh, the Dorian mode, so it works most uh, times you're playing in, in minor key. Um, and in major key if you know how to work the modes, which Check out my instructional DVD coming soon. You'll master the modes very quickly. Um, I digress. Anyway, um, so if you're just playing some minor pentatonic stuff and you want to add a, a cool sounding note, add that nine. Sounds great. That, or that second. Second and nine, same interval, right? So this is the note I'm talking about. That B note. So it sounds nice. Like if you want to play a triplet, again, I'll just stay in this box shape, A minor pentatonic that everyone knows, but you want to blast it over the whole neck, of course. You know, so you can add that B note. I also like to use that nine to slide to the, the C, to the flat third. It's a nice note to slide off of, and it's also a nice note to bend. I'll bend the B to the C. Just make sure when you bend it, you're hitting the note. Always check your bends to make sure that you're not bending out of pitch. You want to always bend up to a target note, the next note in the scale or whatever note you're targeting. But just don't bend notes indiscriminately. You have to have a target note in mind. Here I'm bending the B or the, the, the second or nine to the flat third. And that's a really nice bend. So that's a great extra note to add to this. You know, if you're jamming in minor pentatonic. I'm in the key of A minor, so right here is the fifth fret, okay? And here's that A minor pentatonic blues scale. And right here is the B note, or the nine, or the second. Right? So when I was talking about bending it, see I'm bending to the C. And notice my bend, every time it's perfect, I always hit that note I'm targeting to bend. And that's a nice lick right here, I went. And then hammered off the nine, I bent it up to the C, brought it back down. And then hammered from the A to the B, and then back to the A. up to the A note. So this nine, I do that a lot, I slide, or you hear guys like Carlos Santana does that a lot. He'll use this, this nine to the second, Eric Johnson uses it a lot too. And they'll use it. It really spices up this minor pentatonic scale. You'll hear that all day from Carlos Santana. I'm just doing a Turn the rhythm around. See, I keep coming back to that nine.
So I hope you like that little way to spice up the minor pentatonic scale with the adding the second or the ninth degree. Um, use it, you'll love it. It's a great note to play off and um, always pretty much works. Um, practice that and remember when you're bending, bend and pitch, always check your bends. That's a lot of things my students, when they first come to me, I get them doing very quickly. When you're bending out of pitch, it sounds horrible and you're not going to sound in tune with the band you all, and you just don't bend indiscriminately. You always have a target note in mind, whether you're bending up a half a step, a whole step, a minor third, which is a step and a half, um, whatever. You're, you always want to have that target note. So use this ninth and spice that minor pentatonic up. Practice, practice, and I will see you in the next lesson. Take care.